Hey everyone, Andrew here from Property Association. Just thought it was timely to run a video about property and corona, especially post-corona, because obviously we've seen now that corona is definitely gonna have a major, major impact uh, globally, but obviously in Australia as well. So in terms of property and how it's gonna impact us in general, it's probably broken down into three sections. So one is the next six weeks, so an immediate sort of impact, and then a longer period as it starts to sort of get under control. And then post corona, when it's not something that is gonna keep us you know, scared to interact and shake hands and, and be around other people. So in the next six weeks, what we're finding is that a lot of people that are in that property cycle of, of buying and selling, so if they've sold, they're still gonna buy, or if they're um, you know, uh, buying and then needing to sell, they're gonna sell. So people know that this is not the end of the world. They know that you know, it's not gonna last forever, even though we're not acting that way with the way we're clearing out the uh, supermarkets. They know that this thing's not gonna last forever, so they're gonna finish off their transaction. Then what we're looking at is after, uh, what with those people as well, you've got people that have got their finance approved. So people that saw the market starting to increase late last year, they've gone out, they've got their finance approved because now they're ready to transact. Those people, they're very unlikely to not continue with their transaction because they know how difficult it was to get finance in the first place. So we're finding that people that are in the middle of a transaction buy sell, or people who are um, approved for finance with that finance lapsing in the next six to eight weeks will transact in that period. And that's why I think it'll keep us busy for the next six weeks. And we found that last weekend. And uh, so far this morning, um, our inquiries have been fantastic. So that's the short term. I can't see a huge impact. However, move that forward now. I can't see a lot of people go into real estate agents and say, hey, I want to put my property on the market after Easter or going to a broker this week or next week and say, can you assess me? I really need a loan. So that we're gonna fill in about eight weeks time. The stock levels will, will probably fall again and there'll be less people you know, coming into the market with finance uh, approved, ready to transact. So that's gonna have an impact on our market where yes, demand's gonna drop, but we're gonna also find supply drop like it did last year, which started to drive prices up because people in the market had less options. So it's something that we need to monitor in that period. And then once we, we find that Corona starts to come under control, the numbers are quite well managed, uh, then we enter the post uh, Corona period and looking at all the other sort of uh, major viruses or looking at major events, you know, the property market always bounces back really strongly. So. Uh, in terms of the property market, we're quite confident that you know, it's always been a long-term transaction. It's never been something that you jump in for six months or 12 months. If you want to do that, that's why you've got the option of the share market. If you want something longer term, it's always been property. And obviously the share market at the moment is getting an absolute uh, battering uh, with the coronavirus being that the main uh, catalyst for that. But again, this is something that's a little bit out of the norm. It's not something we've seen to this scale, but traditionally, Share markets plummet when there's major global um, events where the share markets lose confidence and it just tumbles through all the major economies and Australia is not immune to that. And then what we see as a result is always property prices climb uh, in that period. So whether or not we're gonna see that now, I'm not 100% sure because this is quite unique, but we do know that post corona, we're gonna have people that reassess where they live. We're gonna see a lot of movement of people as a result of this uh, virus. And Australia, we know how desirable it's been to the rest of Asia, uh, you know, pre this uh, virus. Post, we can only assume that it's just gonna be a big push from a, a large number of people in Asia wanting to come uh, live in, in Australia, live in Sydney, buy property. And we believe that post period is gonna be very strong. We also think that this period now, with the measures where there's self-isolation and you know, people sort of staying away from one another, that we're gonna to start to be a little bit more thrifty, we're gonna start saving more, we're gonna be less consumer driven. And in terms of post-corona, we're gonna want comfort. We're gonna want that security of saying, hey, this is our home, you know, or our home is more paid off. So it's gonna get us into that period, into that mindset, which has been the last 20 years, it's been all about consuming buying the latest fashion, the latest clothes and bags and cars and whatever it is, um, tech or you know, new phones come out, two grand, no worries. I think we're gonna reassess that stuff and coming out of Corona, you know, owning, owning an asset, owning something that's gonna help 
generate an income, help stop you paying wasted rent. It's gonna be a priority for people. And we feel post-corona, we're gonna have a really strong um, property market. So love to hear anyone's thoughts if they've got an approval. Are you going through with it? I would say you are, unless you've had you know, specific news to say that your, your work's been impacted directly. I would assume most people are. And do you agree, will we see a reduction in people trying to sell, which will again reduce the stock levels, put pressure on the market, and see the market climb? You know, that's traditionally what's happened um, when the share market tanks. So um, any questions, any other topics you want us to cover, let me know, and uh, I'll speak to you shortly.